Okay, two cups of milk. And put them in the freezer to pre-freeze. Okay, I'll put the other two on top. So, I'm gonna put some cream cheese in each of the two sides. Post-it note on it how much it weighs. That's my plan. 200 grams on each side. Okay. So each one of these and a pint of milk. Deviled ham and some pieces of egg. Nine grams. So ninety nine. So 130 grams. Okay, so we need 130 grams of water. Put back in. So I'm going to do a test of that one. And a test of the sour cream.
Oh, and this that rehydrates perfectly instantly. So if we want to make deviled eggs, this part of it does like instant. Okay. Oh, that's. I mean, I just poured oh, the water right. over it, and you can see it. Mm. That is wonderful consistency. It is warm, though. Yeah, well, yeah, cold would be better. Definitely. It's but that worked out very, very well. Yeah. Wow. Yep, it's all soft and fluffy. I'm kind of surprised. I really thought it'd be the other way around. I thought the whites would come out easy, yeah. but not the yolk, because the fats and things. So to make deviled eggs, I think it would be worth doing. The filling, at least. How'd the egg turn out? Uh, the yolk comes out perfectly, very almost instantly. The white is mm, terrible. about 110. I'm going to put the lid on it, let it set for a while. The cream cheese, it was 200 grams. We're going to powder it up a bit by squishing it. Some icy cold water again. Okay, it was 200 grams to begin with, so well, cream cheese is, is waterproof. <laughs> yes, it is. So cold water might be the wrong thing. We might need hot water and then cool it afterwards. Oh, because I did read about some people using hot, heating it up to if they freeze it. Deviled ham came out just as good as when it went in. Perfectly usable for whatever you're going to use deviled ham for. Okay, it's not back all the way yet, but it's coming along nicely like cream cheese. That is far, far smoother than I expected. I'll try some of it. This. Oh, on something or in something, I think it would be great. I think the worst case is like out of the spoon or, or direct. Yeah, 100%. But if I'm mixing in all these cheeses to my delicious pasta, I might as well add cream cheese too. That came out really well. Not perfect yet, but considering I haven't done anything with it, or I put it in a blender or food processor, that was quite adequate. How's that for rave reviews? Quite adequate. Lots of seeds on this. <laughs> Drop it in the bird feeder. Yeah, it's definitely not the smoothness that it had, but it tastes good. I think I'd put less water so I can cream it better. But it's definitely worth it. What do you think? Works pretty well. Mm -hmm.